When the best-selling Lexus RX was redesigned about a year ago with its fifth generation, we had three hybrid powertrains that was announced and one gasoline. So four total powertrains. So in the meantime, we've been playing and snacking with the 350H. Make sure to watch my review on that. The 500H F Sport Performance. Watch my review on that in the uh, cool copper crest color. And you also have the RX 350, which is the least desirable powertrain. But there's the one last powertrain that we've been waiting for. And it is the plug-in hybrid, which is the best powertrain for pretty much the entire Lexus Toyota lineup. As long as you can get a vehicle with this powertrain, it's finally getting it. So let's get into the details of the RX 450H Plus. Let's go. This came out of left field. You know, I had no idea it was going to be announced. I was expecting, gosh, since we're not hearing anything, it may be by the end of next year, we would get the RX 450H. Plus, but no, this plug-in hybrid is coming this year, 2023, for the Lexus lineup. It's a first plug-in hybrid for the RX. Now, the RX hybrid came out, I think it was like in 2006. It was the first luxury hybrid on the market, and it took them until 2023 to outfit the RX as a 2024 model year with a plug-in hybrid. So we get an estimated 83 miles per, whatever, like the 83 miles per gallon. I, I don't like how the EPA rates their vehicles because what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. What is it on hybrid mode? Well, it's going to be around 40 miles per gallon. What, how much electric range does it get when you're driving an EV only? Well, we'll find out. It only comes in luxury grade. No surprise. They're not going to offer the plug-in hybrid, the best powertrain, the most expensive powertrain as a lower price grade. Available traffic jam assist. I would say it's not worth it. I don't like that little sensor on the top of the steering wheel. Starting MSRP of $70,080. Oof, is it worth it? Uh, I'm going to say, man, that's tough because it doesn't qualify for the EV tax credit. It is probably not worth it. Um, this is the same powertrain that we see on a RAV4 Prime, which is $20,000 less. Sometimes even less than that because of the SE trim. If you can get it at MSRP, that's the big if, right? So probably not worth it at $70,000 in my opinion, because the 350 still gets you 40 miles per gallon. It's not going to be quite as fast or enjoyable to drive, but it starts at 20 grand less. All right. So you would never be able to make up the price difference with, with the EV range compared to the hybrid range here. All right. So available by the end of 2023, zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds is about a half second, uh, to 60 miles an hour slower than let's say the RAV4 Prime with the same powertrain because it's a bigger, heavier vehicle. Also has an estimated EV driving range of 35 miles. But that's manufacturer estimated. Don't be surprised uh, if the EPA comes out with a slightly higher number. I was able, I mean, it's not hard to get above the plug-in hybrid range of the RAV4 Prime, in my opinion, or the NX, especially plug-in hybrid. It comes with a level one charging cable. And like I think the Prius Prime as well as the RAV4 Prime, it has a maximum of 6.6 .6 kilowatts of AC fast charging on a level two. So that takes about two and a half hours to charge. Now there are a lot faster AC level two charging vehicles out there, but when you have a small battery pack like this, I think this is plenty quick, the 6.6 .6 kilowatts. Lexus reminds us that it's all wheel drive. You're going to have a small electric motor in the back to power the rear wheels around 50 horsepower, if I remember correctly. And since it comes standard with the luxury grade, you'll have 21 inch, 20 spoke alloy wheels with the dark premium metallic finish. The colors are eminent white pearl, cloudburst gray, iridium caviar, matador red mica, copper crest, heck yeah, nori green pearl, absolutely. I think these three colors right here, a uh, nightfall mica is a good color as well. It's like a sparkly dark blue, but matador red, copper crest, and nori green, those are the colors I would be getting. Iridium is a really cool cover color as well. Uh, but anyways, let's keep moving. You have a standard head-up display as well. No surprise, you get the 21 speaker Marky Mark Levinson, but it is only available. It is not standard. So you're going to have to fork over more than $70,000 to get the Mark Levinson. Ouch. Luckily, you can get it on uh, lower RX models as well without the 70,000 plug-in hybrid dollar price point. Anyways, okay. So there are just three interior color options. Macadamia, which is kind of like a beige. Uh, black and then peppercorn is kind of like the uh, dark 
brownish, if I remember right. Ornamentation, ash bamboo. Ooh, I really like the bamboo. You also have black open pore wood. So I'd be getting ash bamboo with the macadamia with the nori green. I think that's the color combo I'd be rolling with. No surprise to get the 14 inch touchscreen in there. Digital key. Um, advanced park with the remote park is available as well. Now, if I go to the Lexus builder here, um, I don't see the RX 500. I don't see the RX 450H plus up yet. Um, if I go to hybrid, RX 500H is up, RX hybrid is up. That's the 350H, uh, but there is still no option to build your five or 450H plus yet. But the RX 350, in my opinion, is the best buy here. Let's get it in the premium all wheel drive. Let's get that Nori Green. You could get it with a copper crest, but you're going to have to go up and, and trim levels. So let's just stick with the Nori green. Let's go with the macadamia or you could go, you know, Ooh, no, let's go with the Palomino because the Palomino is more of like that tan that goes really well with the dark green. So let's get the Palom or yeah, the Palomino with the ash bamboo packages. Don't want traffic jam assist. Don't really need digital key either. AC inverter. Absolutely. Which comes with that panoramic view monitor, which I would like to have that as well. in My Lexus, we're going to add the large screen here. Yeah, so for 55K, you can get a very well-equipped RX 350H. No, it doesn't have the Mark Levinson, but man, about 15 grand cheaper than the RX plug-in hybrid. I don't know where this 450H Plus is going to be assembled. The battery pack has to come from Japan no matter what. So it could come from Japan, but it could also come uh, from Canada. And the reason I'm saying this is because we're going to have the TX 550H Plus that uses the same battery pack. That's going to be built in Indiana. So they're going to be shipping these 18.1 kilowatt hour batteries to North America before they start producing them uh, in North Carolina by 2025. But in the meantime, they could produce this in, in Canada alongside the rest of the RX and NX ranges, essentially. The only RX that's imported into America at this point in time, I think it's some of the front wheel drive uh, 350 turbo models, which that's not, not the car I want. But anyways, I got to shut it down there. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more Lexus updates. There's going to be more coming very soon, I'm sure of it. So thank you guys. Catch you in the next one. And peace.